In this video, we will show you the procedure to disassemble and reassemble a Caterpillar C7 injector, replacing the worn components and testing the nozzle, using the equipment manufactured by Radat SPA, as well as the testing of the injector on a Hartridge test bench. We begin the procedure by tightening the tool 4021563 in the vise and positioning the injector. Using the insert 4021167, we remove the four solenoid screws, then all the components below. Using the insert 4021098, we remove the four screws of the regulator assembly. This allows us to remove all the components down to the injector body. We now place the injector in the tool 4021682 held by the vise. In order to proceed correctly with the disassembling, it is necessary to apply a compression on the nozzle so that the pins 1, 2, 0, 9, 875 will not break when unscrewing the nozzle nut using our tool 4021293.
we can now proceed removing all the components. The tool 4021175 four, is used to extract the piston. Using the hook 4021678, we remove all the O-rings and gaskets from the injector. At this point, the injector is completely disassembled. We now proceed to a careful cleaning, checking and replacing worn components. We recommend replacing damaged components and those subject to wear like gaskets, screws, springs and nozzles. You can check the Radat website for the complete list of spare parts and calibration shim kits available. We place the injector body in the tool 4021682 held in the vise. We now proceed to the reassembly, replacing the gaskets and the screws which we find in the kits 1211636 and 1211593 supplied by Radat. The O rings and the gaskets follow this assembly order. One, 211592 1208767 using the insertion code 4021663 1209 
846. One two zero nine eight four seven one two zero eight. 767 using the insertion cone 4021663. 1208769. One, two, two, zero, eight, seven, six, eight. using the insertion cone 4021665. We suggest always replacing the piston 1, 2, 1, 1, 6, 3, 5, or 1, 2, 1, 2, 7, 8, 5. The piston is lubricated with diesel fuel to prevent damage to it and its gasket during insertion in the body. We then proceed to assemble the other components. During the assembly of the plunger, it is better to apply some grease to the pins 1, 2, 0, 9, 8, 7, 5, so that they do not fall out of their seat in the plunger bush. We recommend always replacing the nozzle group. Lubricate the inner o-ring of the nozzle nut with diesel fuel to prevent damage during tightening. We proceed to the assembly by compressing the nozzle so that the pins 1, 2, 0, 9, 8, 7, 5 can enter their seat correctly and will not break during the tightening of the nozzle nut.
using the tool 4021293, we tighten it to 105 Newton meters. At this point, we place the injector in the tool 4021563 again, and we mount the following components. We suggest always replacing the plunger assembly. One, two, one, three, two, nine, seven. Using the insert 4021098, close the four screws of the plunger assembly to 5 Newton meters. We recommend always replacing the complete regulator assembly. One, two, one, three, four, seven, two. We proceed by assembling the remaining components. It is important that the regulator assembly sits about 0.3 millimeters lower than the solenoid spacer.
finally, using the insert 4021167, we close the four solenoid screws to two newton meters. The injector is now completely assembled. We now show you how to check the opening pressure and correct spraying of the Caterpillar C7 injector nozzle using the tool 4021. 562 made by Radat SPA. We lock the injector testing tool 4021562 in the vise. We proceed by fitting the following components. We now proceed mounting the nozzle nut using the tool 4021293, tightening it to 105 newton meters. We fit the mounted assembly on the injector tester 4010926 and we proceed by testing the spray in the fume extractor 4021504. This test allows us to check the opening pressure and correct spraying of the nozzle. We will now show you the testing of the Caterpillar C7 injector using the Hartridge test bench. We begin by mounting the Caterpillar C7 injector in the corresponding adapter on the Hartridge test bench.
Using the touchscreen monitor, it is possible to select the brand and model of the injector to test. Then, by pressing the start button, all the related tests are automatically performed in succession.
After each test, the corresponding entry turns green or red, depending on the positive or negative result. By pressing on each test line, it is possible to see all the details on screen. All of our videos can be seen in our YouTube channel. For more information, please visit our website www.radat.com or contact our offices.